What's up, Six Pack Shortcutters? Mike here. Today we're going to talk about the afterburn effect and what it is and how you can get super ripped and why we based our whole program on it. So the afterburn effect, what it is, is it's when your body burns calories up to 48 hours after you finish working out. So you can work out today and up to 48 hours afterwards, you're continuously still burning calories. Very different than a normal workout because usually you'll go to the gym for let's say 45 minutes or an hour. You work out, your heart rate's high, your uh, body temperature is high, but the moment that you're done working out, your heart rate drops back down and so does your body temperature and you stop burning calories. And the problem with that is there's 24 hours in a day, but if you burn calories for only one hour, what are you burning the other 23 hours? Now, unless your job is very, very physically active and you're continuously running around throughout the day, most of us, I find, are just sitting around and are not burning as much calories as they need to, which is why normal people have such a hard time losing weight and losing fat, because you're not burning enough calories throughout the day. But the afterburn effect allows you to burn calories 48 hours afterwards, continuously. Here's a good example. Um, think about, let's say, working on your chest. You have two exercises. You have a bench press and you have a cable fly, where you're grabbing the cables and you go like this and you work your chest. So a cable fly, when you do this, it just works your chest. When you have a bench press, it works your chest, works your shoulders, and it works your triceps. Three muscle groups versus cable fly, one muscle group. So three muscle groups burns more calories, uses more muscle fuel, and in turn are going to activate the afterburn. So you got to make sure you're doing the right exercises too. Now keep this in mind, guys. You can't go ahead and just jump onto training with the afterburn techniques right away. You have to get your body ready because people that are in my program, we have a lot of things that we haven't do before we actually start triggering the afterburn effect. So keep this in mind. If you're not a member in our program, no worries. What I want you to do though is to A, make sure you're doing the right exercises by far. The next two weeks, try this. Make sure you're doing the right exercises. Keep them compound, multi-muscle multi muscle groups when you're doing the exercises. Um, make sure your rest times, keep it anywhere from about 60 seconds up to about 90 seconds. And also be consistent on your workouts. Work out anywhere from about four to about six days a week for the next two weeks to get your body ready. Okay, afterwards you can start applying the other techniques which is keeping your reps lower, using your heavier weight, um, keeping your rest times even lower, and um, also keeping the uh, sets a lot higher and their set range should be anywhere from about six even up to about eight sets. Because remember, you gotta have enough volume to completely drain down the fuel inside your muscles. I'll see y'all guys next time.